Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So without further ado, let's get started. And right off the bat, we have some pretty nice messages here. How interesting. Okay. So we have the Two of Cups. And we see the couple here. Uh, forehead to forehead. Cup to cup. And it really shows the sense of uh, harmony and balance between the two of equal standing. So in these relationships that have the potential to last a long time, that are emotionally connected and rich and have depth and really uh, spark the light within your heart, you know, there is that sense of equal balance. And I think that that's really important to think about when we, for those that are dating, and dating several people, it's just to have that energy where everything seems not so complicated, where things seem easy, where it can be effortless. Why? Because you see eye to eye. And you're both coming from the same place. And that's really the Two of Cups. It's this opportunity for something very meaningful, something that has great potential. And uh, uh, again, if you're in a relationship, this is an opportunity to enhance it, to enrich your relationship, to uh, become more intimate, if you're searching and looking, it's a matter of opening up your heart chakra. It's a matter of opening up your heart. And again, as I would say, magnetizing and, and putting the signal out there so that people find you and the right people find you. Again, you have to do some of the work yourself. You have to put yourself out there in order to make these connections. So the possibility here for a very strong relationship. And then, you know, there are always folks who are saying, listen, I'm not dating, I'm not interested. This, of course, can extend to very close friendships, business relationships. It's the dynamic of the relationship, which is very bonded, very real, and very deep. So here's the Wheel of Fortune right next door major arcana card the wheel of life and how everything is in motion things are moving behind the scenes in front of our eyes and in all directions and the events spin in our life and spin out and sometimes they're good and sometimes they're not so good and when they're good we celebrate we enjoy our good fortune and when they're less than positive, we try to find ways to deal with it and to cope or to problem solve. So it's a, it's a thought here that perhaps with respect to the Two of Cups potential or an existing relationship that there is something that's going to uh, come your way, a change coming your way, a change for good. And uh, why would we say a change for good? Well, because we have the sun here right next to this Wheel of Fortune. And the sun is capturing, you know, the life force, the high energy, the confidence, the delight in living, the delight in sharing who you are 
and letting your light shine to others. So the opportunity here for relationships to abound and to become even better. Wheel of Fortune, decisions to be made perhaps, changes to come, positive changes, uh, things that maybe the universe is dropping in your way. Uh, and again, you have willpower and you have will. So it's a matter of how you respond to how events shape and are turn, turned within your will of your life. And with the sun, the sense of carefree, of bringing joy, wonder. And I, I'm going back to the word confident, of feeling really proud of what you're doing and how things are going and there's excitement. And so the sun is just simply a beautiful, beautiful card. And, you know, the wheel of fortune in the two of cups, it could signal something really lovely coming, you know, something beautiful for sure. So I, th I do think this is a very charming illustration with the little baby on the horse. So let's take a look at the numbers. Okay. We have 19 and 10 is 29 and 29 and 2 is 31 and 31 reduces to 4 and 4 is about family building a firm foundation. It's about stability. Perhaps there's a commitment to come as a result of this connection. And now let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. And again, <laughs> sometimes I'm, I'm a little afraid to pull one because <laughs> you never know. Okay. Insecurity. Insecurity. And that's a normal feeling. Everybody at some point feels insecure, feels uh, not so sure of themselves. And perhaps the message here is that in order for a successful relationship to flourish and to have potential is that you're going to have to work on anything where you feel um, if you feel down, if you feel that you don't have a lot to offer. Because in relationships, if you're seeing somebody or if you're married to someone who is uh, really insecure, that can uh, rear its ugly head in many different ways that are not helpful. So find ways to help address insecurities that you may have either talking with someone, uh, reading some self-help help books, thinking about it, meditating, maybe contemplating. So I wish you the very best on Saturday. I hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed this reading or found, uh, found it helpful, then please subscribe, like, share, or comment, and join me tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.